Hello. It is very hot and sweaty and I need to have the window closed and the fan off whilst I film so you guys can hear me. But it is 30 degrees in London and 30 in London feels like 40 because there's just like no aircon anywhere. My office doesn't have aircon. My flat gets so unbearably hot in the summer and like we can't sleep with the window open because it isn't safe. So the bedroom is just like unbearable. Last night I actually slept on the couch because it's cooler in the living room and also because I'm not well. Yesterday at work I just like started rapidly declining and a girl on my team had been ill so I maybe caught it from her but also maybe the change of weather because that's a thing. I had a cold and then like a major headache and I was supposed to go to an event with outsourced clothing but I couldn't go because I just felt like I went to bed at like half nine and I woke up this morning and I've got like an itchy throat now and like a little bit of a cold but I feel like mentally better and I don't have a headache anymore. So I'm just hoping that I feel fine for tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to Greece. The last time I went was in 2017 for a family friend's wedding. My grandma used to live in Greece for like 20 years before she died and we have some family friends there. The wedding was so funny. There was like 450 people. <laughs> I'm glad we're not going to my grandma's island because I want to go somewhere new and explore a new place. I'm so excited. We're going to Milos. I remember my friend Fran went, I think last summer and it just looked incredible. Like the beaches look like you're on the moon. It doesn't even look like planet earth. And then since then, I've just seen it all over my TikTok. I've had some like people I follow on Instagram go this summer. I think September is such a good time to go because like it's not blistering hot. All the kids have gone back so the airports aren't as crazy. And I'm just so excited. And we're doing a night in Athens either side because that's like what makes sense in terms of flight times and the ferries you have to get from Athens to the islands. I kind of wish we did have more time in Athens, but also I live in a city. So like I miss that island life and I miss like going in the sea and being by the beach and the ocean. So I think I will appreciate being on the island more than I will be being in Athens as a city but we are going to try and check out Acropolis. There's also like a national park I think that's supposed to be really cool. I can't really remember to be honest. I've not done that much research on Athens. I kind of just been focusing on Milos and also I kind of want it as just like a chill out take it slow holiday like I want to do beach days and we booked a boat day that looks amazing. My ankle's a little bit swollen. I don't know if you watched my last video but I mentioned that I kind of sprained my ankle. She's still kind of giving cankle so it'd be nice if she simmered down a bit for my holiday. I'm also really hoping that my boyfriend doesn't catch whatever it is that I've got right now because being out on a holiday is not ideal and that would not be fun for both of us. Also this is a couple's trip. We're going away with one other couple which is so funny because it just seems really like mature and old saying that but I can't wait because I think the dynamics just going to be perfect. We're going with my friend Catherine who I met literally on the first day of uni. She was in my halls. <laughs> and she's been one of my best friends ever since. And then her boyfriend Bart and my boyfriend Solly are also super close, so I just think it's gonna be hilarious. We can have our girl time, they can have their boy time, we can have our couple's time, and then we can have quad time. Obviously, mostly we'll be having quad time because we put the holiday together, but I just think it'll be great. Cannot wait. <laughs> so as today is Friday and I'm not working, I went and I got a bikini wax. Oh my God, let me tell you, this morning was chaos. I was in the queue at Dusty Knuckle at like 9.58 getting a croissant and a coffee. I then remembered that the 1975 tickets were coming out at 10. My bikini wax was also booked for 10. So there was a lot going on. So I was on my phone and I'd gotten in the queue as I was walking out of Dusty Knuckle, walking towards where I was getting my wax. As I walked into the wax, I was like, I'm trying to get tickets for something. Can I just like try and do both? And they were like, sure, whatever. And I was literally lying there, legs akimbo, phone in hand, stressed out, didn't get the tickets <laughs> and just kind of dealt with the pain of not getting the tickets and the wax at once. So I guess kind of killing two birds with one stone, you could say, but I'm sure I'll get tickets on like resale. It'll be fine. Anyway, got my wax for the holiday. Then I went and got Manny Petty. A moment for like me, please, because these are my real nails. Like I have Biab on, but these are all me. And I'm a serial nail biter and like cuticle biter. So this is like crazy to me and like anyone who knows me, because. I'm so proud. Now I'm just using the afternoon to outfit plan and pack. But I did this for Mallorca and it's great because it means you don't overpack. You know exactly what you're gonna wear. You're not gonna look back and like regret your outfit. So I basically take photos and then I kind of decide which one I wanna wear the day before, the morning of, depending on what I'm doing that day. And I felt like I was really slacking slash like letting myself down a bit for Italy. But I was also ill the day before Italy. I had major stomach pain, like really, really severe and couldn't really pack because I couldn't really try anything on because I was in so much pain. So I don't know why I keep being cursed. 
the day before holidays but i'm also very blessed because i'm going on holiday tomorrow so so this is the first beach look that i'm going to go for this is my peachy den kimura bikini you guys i actually have a discount code that you can use it's doa10 for 10 percent off your peachy den orders this um mint lace slip that i got from vivian when we did our pop-up together and then i went to this jewelry making workshop on wednesday with by alona and i made this beaded necklace and then they also gave us this lovely gold necklace to like layer with and i'm obsessed with her and i thought she would look so cute with my kimura bikini so i'm just going to decide if i want to do like a little belt with it and what shoes and then take a picture and then move on to the next i've also kind of pre-planned sort of half like maybe a few outfits because there are a few things i've just been meaning to wear that i haven't and we're at the end of summer so if i don't wear them on this holiday they're gonna have to stay away until i go away at christmas because i'm going away at christmas that's a story for another time okay so i told a few lies i didn't actually show you any of the outfits but here are the pics Also, you're gonna see them like live in action, like when I'm actually dressed up and wearing them nice. So you don't need to see them in video format now. This is what we're looking like so far. I'm kind of annoyed I don't have a better beach bag. Like I've got her, but I want like a really kind of plain everyday, goes with everything. I guess kind of crochet would be good or something like that because then the sand falls out or like wicker, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna quickly just like shove it in there because obviously I need to sleep in there tonight. So on the day that we arrived in Milos was when the winds started to really pick up. Thankfully our ferry was completely fine but I heard on the following days the ferries were cancelled because of how strong the winds were. Our bedrooms went straight out onto the pool. This was a hotel we found on booking.com and it's called Villa Gallis. It's in Polonia which is the northeast of the island and if it wasn't for the really strong northerly winds this would look a lot more peaceful. So we have some catching up to do. I haven't really spoken to the camera yet. The journey yesterday to Gatwick and at Gatwick was hell. I don't know what it is, but I think that there is something that I eat that really, really upsets my insides. And I'd gone out for Thai food. I'd gone to Somsa the night before and I'd accidentally eaten a whole chili, but I'd also had their chicken skins, which were really delicious, but obviously fried. And I think that the root of the problem is like deep fried food. And basically I woke up in the morning and my stomach was just in loads of pain. And then it just got worse and worse. And when we were on the train to Gatwick, I like couldn't sit still. I was in so much pain. And then trying to get through security was so bad. And then as soon as I was through, I just told the guys I was just gonna go and cry in a corner and try and lie down. So they went to um, Waggers and I was like, go, cause I just need to be alone and cry out. And I phoned my sister and I phoned my dad. And I was like, I'm in so much pain. And I went to boots and I cried to the pharmacist and I got some um, Gaviscon and I already had some like Buscapan. Like I don't see how I'm gonna sit on this flight for like three and a half hours because I can't sit still, like it's so uncomfortable. And then thankfully sort of as we were boarding the flight, maybe the meds were all just kicking in because I started to feel a bit better. And then as we were getting dropped to the Airbnb, um, our taxi driver pointed out somewhere that he said was a nice taverna. We tried there for dinner. Oh my God, it was perfect. Like it was exactly what we were looking for. It was just like really authentic nice outside vibes the food was stunning and we just like ordered really well we ordered loads of little bits and just shared so much and it was so so good and i was starving because i didn't really eat okay i'm gonna go and get ready for dinner bye Side, maybe. Just do it. 
<laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> Didn't give a tour this morning because we left before the cleaner came. Um, but this is the lovely bed. Nice little like kitchenette area that looks right out onto the pool and the sea. Look at how windy it is out there. Um, good storage space for all our clothes. We've made a bit of a mess. And then this is the bathroom. We've already been in and made a bit of a mess, but it is really nice. We spent the day at the beach on the south side of the island because the wind is like northerly. Our hotel is literally facing the north on the north side. So like it's all just coming straight onto the hotel. So we hired a car, drove to the south, went to this beach, but we were still just being absolutely battered by the winds. It was aggressive. Every now and then there'd be like moments where it would stop and you'd be like, oh, this is stunning. Um, and then you just get like pelted with more sand and wind again. Thankfully, I think tomorrow is like half the amount of wind. I think it's like down to 25 mile per hour winds. But we're still gonna go to a beach in the south just to be safe. We've got the car for two days. And then tonight we're just keeping it simple and going for dinner in a local port. And I got really cold last night and my jumper has coffee on it, shock. Bart, do you wanna say hi to the vlog? Hello, Bart. <laughs> hotel and that's our room and that's Bart and Catherine's room. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's very common. You're sleeping the tatsuki? Oh no. <laughs> tatsuki sleeve. The, 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 uh, like the aromas are mostly fruity, like green apple, pear, peach, or maybe something more citrusy, like lemon. Yeah, the olives mm. are so good. I'm gonna eat a hole in one. Whoa! Damn. Proud. Proud, 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 man. Proud, 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 no, but she's she's it's serving. Tea. 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 Give him a swell. Yeah. Bring to the nose. Mm. It's given. It's giving wine. It's giving wine. It's giving Echo Falls. Small one. Oh, it's horrible noise. Aerate it. <laughs> Joking on it. Oh you want to aerate it around the palate, and then bring it around your palate, and then spit. Go on then. Maybe. Yamas. 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 Oh yeah. Yamas. 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 Good morning. The wine tasting last night was 
just so much nicer than I thought it would be. Like the setting was so cool. They gave us seven glasses of wine and like I was struggling to keep up and also I'm quite fussy. So I gave two of my glasses away and then they gave us two like shots at the end. We were pretty drunk. Today we're just gonna go and get some breakfast in the town, return the rental car and then have like a bit of a pool day, which I'm looking forward to because I've started my book. Basically, I don't read. I spend way too much time on my phone and I really want to get into reading. And I just feel like I have FOMO. Like I feel like I'm missing out because I feel like everyone I know reads. So I'm going to try and get into it. So I asked the girls at work, what are some books that you would recommend to someone who doesn't read and wants to get into reading? And Laura recommended this. It's called America Dirt. It's about a mother and a son who are trying to flee Mexico. And I'm already four chapters in. I started it yesterday and I actually did find it a page turner. And then this afternoon, we're going to go back to where we went yesterday and spend more time there and go and have dinner there. Because it's like a really nice high up spot. It's got good views for the sunset. Utopia Cafe was like all over TikTok when I looked at Milos recommendations. So I think that's where we're gonna go. This is like the first morning we've had without an insane amount of wind. So I think we did very well to change the boat day for today. I think Bart was speaking to a local yesterday and telling them that we were doing the boat day today and they said that today would have been the best day for it. And you can definitely notice this morning, the wind has dropped off. Like it's now like nice and calm. And when I think about what it was like on Monday morning, like that was pure chaos here. It's also a free bar, so. Look at the matching orange bikini and the tote Hello. bag situation. How are you? Is that um yeah. the Angel of the North? Yeah. Like you? I am. <laughs> we got a taxi last night and um, I was sitting in the front because I get car sick so I always sit in the front and then you kind of just talk to the drivers and he was like oh this is where my parents are staying and I was like oh that's that's lovely and then like as we went further up the hill I could see that it was actually a cemetery. <laughs> Thankfully he took it like a champ. <laughs> but then he charged us 40 euros, so we're not friends. I have a question you have to answer really honestly. Okay. Is there a correct answer? No, no, no correct. It's not a trick question, it's just a genuine question. Okay. How often do you think about the Roman Empire? <laughs> Roman Empire? Yeah. Like three times a day. You're, are you being serious? Three or four times a day. I'm reading a book about it. Right. <laughs> Solly, how often do you think about the never, Roman Empire? Never, I'm not part of this, I actually don't. Why? Why do you No, I don't what's think about the Roman Empire. Do you know what's happening in the Roman Empire? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what's currently happening? Do you know the facts? Uh, crazy. I, can't you believe you, I can't believe you don't think about it. If you did, you'd think about it a lot more. All right, well maybe I need to read that book. Read a book, mate. Read a book. Okay. Okay. Just read, read a book. book. Oh my god, get in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.
saw on TikTok that if the pistachio, switch it around a bit, is luminous green and not like actual pistachio colour, then it's a sign of bad ice cream. And what's the verdict? It is bad. Well, there you go. It is bad. I was right. So I can see how I feel before I get a real one. What, you're gonna get a little tramp stamp, are you? No. Wow. No, no, no. Julius Caesar, what's, what is your Roman fact? I don't have one. Not a single one. Uh -huh. one. Hello, good morning. I do have two spots on my forehead. That's just because I've been wearing lots of sun cream and sweating. But I have been showering when I got home from the beach. It's literally just from the daytime. And what's a girl to do? We're going to Sarakinikos, the beach. And it looks like you're on the moon. So I'm so excited to go because this is like the main beach that I've been wanting to go to. And we've saved it for today because today is the best conditions for it. And then we're going to walk along to another area. It's like a 45 minute walk and I'm kind of dreading it in the heat, not going to lie, because shaving. And then we're going to have dinner at this spot called Medusa. Um, my friend Bran went and it looked really nice. And then I've also seen people on like Instagram and TikTok go and it looks great. Dolly's gone all out with the temporary tats. I tried to do one on me before, but because I'm all sun cleaned up, it didn't stick to me. So we've just connected like them all around his arms. So it's kind of like the barbed wire one. And then little tiger. He's saying, would you? Oh yeah, I would. Go on then. <laughs> like a fish. So I don't remember if I actually said, but the other night when we went back to Placa for dinner, we basically were going to go to this place called Utopia Cafe and I'd seen it on my TikTok and it's got like amazing views and an amazing balcony that like watches the sunset. When we got there, it said it was closed for a wedding and then thankfully I had another restaurant in the area saved. So we ended up going there for dinner and it was lovely. And then this afternoon, Catherine and Bart wanted to leave the beach early to go for a big walk and then walk to kind of where we were gonna head to for our like early dinner. I can't remember what the area is called, one sec. Okay, the area is called Mandrakia, and this restaurant is there called Medusa, and it like hangs up octopus to dry, like outside the restaurant, and it just looks really nice, and we've had really good things, and it had good reviews. We were supposed to go on Wednesday, and then change it to tonight, so that we had like a lovely last night dinner. Bart and Catherine got there, and it's closed for a wedding. So um, I think we're just gonna go and have dinner in Polonia, but at one of the places that we haven't eaten at before. And then we might try and do Medusa for lunch tomorrow. Maybe, but then it's obviously more hassle because we'll have our suitcases and it's just like extra taxis, so it's more money. What palaver, all these weddings happening in September, who knew? Can of olive oil. Did you get one, Solly? I got a mini one for my brother. All oh, right. Apple pie. Whoa. Oh, crazy boy. I got some more. Good cake, cake for myself. Oh. Some, uh, ah. Is it glass or plastic? It's glass. They didn't have any. Other ones. I got two honey and honey. I got ah. some cookies for the office. Nice. Show me the tzatziki crisps. Are they Lay's? Yeah, they're Lay's. Lay's tink. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the wildest documentaries if you ever want to. Wildest, really? Teddy Perry one. Why? Because, it's awesome. because you watch the whole breakdown of her marriage right. during the documentary and you just see her oh, like wow. completely crumble and like awful. and it's really, really bad. 
because it happens during like the tour and during the whole filming or everything. Oh, I need to watch that. They back. must have been like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The producers are like oh, loving it. Yeah. French fries in Greece, best ever. This is like a little Kinder white chocolate ice cream, and it's really nice. <laughs> okay, so because we haven't been in Athens for very long, we obviously haven't had a chance to like explore and look around. So we got up at half six this morning and we're just walking to Acropolis because I think that's like the main thing that we really wanted to see. Um, but we have to be so quick because our flight is at lunch time so we need to get a taxi back at like half nine. Acropolis opens at 8 and we didn't have tickets and the queue was massive and we have to leave at 9 so we sacked it off and now we're just walking around and exploring the area and trying to see what we can see on foot without tickets. Acropolis means... Is in Athens. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! No, it means high city in oh. Greek. 